there's a chicken outside. Hi, good morning. Welcome back to our Portuguese homestead. I'm just in the greenhouse, as you can see. And I was just cleaning up a little bit because it's an absolute mess. Sometimes this place becomes like an, oh, let's, th let's th throw it in there. And, uh, for and then we forget about it, uh, even though it should go somewhere else. Just keeps like random garden things. It's a mess. Maybe one day we'll clean it up. <laughs> for now it's time to sew more things, new things, get ready for spring. Um, but first, got these plants. Some succulents as well from a friend. They need a bigger pot. Hebo, yeah. So we got some standard ceramic pots. And then we'll go on to some seeds. This was supposed to be a lupa. I planted them, or no, I got the plants from a friend. And then I heard that they grow best in greenhouses. So I put them here, but they never amounted to anything. Even though they did put out very long plants. <laughs> Ooh, lighting. These were or still are cayenne peppers. And they're still still trying to grow. And produce Yamavro. Um, I should have done this months ago. Kind of prune them. Um. Don't take my advice on this. Well, you do need to prune them, but I haven't done them before, so... We're going with this. And then the idea is that come spring, will soon be here. You start watering them again and then they'll start producing much quicker than other plants. Yeah, no problem. It's getting really warm in here. Which is a good thing, I guess.
bow. Wat ga jij vertellen? Next up, I want to do some seeds. This was a tray that I had sewed some things in. This was meant to be broccoli. <sighs> Sweet. Um, but that's one of those things. I never got around to putting them in the ground. So they passed away again. This is part of my collection of seeds and I'm thinking oh I could do this this should be some, some good greens spinach and I want to do oops um, I don't want to do onions so I'm gonna do two kinds both I can sew in the trays now, according to the package, and then oh, more tomatoes! <laughs> I love it when you send me seeds. So many nice surprises. Yeah, yeah boo. Some sage. Hmm, I could plant some of that. <laughs> Thank you both for your suggestions. So, that's all for summer. So, I'm gonna do these in the tray, and that's gonna be it for today. Because as you can hear, Bo is not happy to be here anymore. Um, since this compost has already been used once, I'm not sure if I can use it again because all the nutrients are probably gone. Um, so I'm going to do some new compost. Put this with like chicken compost and then we'll go on from there. So I've never grown onions, well I did try to plant some one time, <laughs> they never got big, I've never done them from seed or from bulb, so I guess we'll see how this goes.
Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, one of the things I've been meaning to do for a little while is install something we got from one of you guys from for Christmas. Um, Morten from Denmark sent us a new computer. He sent us a new tiny desktop. Um, he It's an older thing. I don't think they make them anymore. Um, so he upgraded everything and sent it to us for Christmas. And that should uh, replace my old trusty laptop here on which I do all the editing. <laughs> Someone's distracting me. Hey Bo. Hola. Tudo bem? <laughs> so. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is see I've, if I can get everything set up again. If you want to see what Martin did to it, uh, Morten did to it, <laughs> um, he made a video about it. He also t makes YouTube videos and I'll link that in the description box down below. For now, this non-computer girl will um, just set it up. I do know how to do that. So we have to get a new keyboard for it. But this is the whole thing. It's about the size of a book already dusty um, but obviously much smaller than my laptop Looks nice, I think. A little tidier than with the laptop. And now the very exciting part of installing all the software that I need. So I'll leave you here. It's half three. And it's already mostly shaded in the garden, which is not great for things that want to grow. But it is what it is. Things are growing. It has been very, very dry this winter. We've, well, you've seen that we've had a couple like really hard rainstorms and that's usually kind of how it goes, but um, we haven't had much rain other than those storms. And usually we'll have like more or longer or also just a week or two where it just rains. <sighs> None of that this winter. I do hope that in April that the saying is true also this year that we have lots of rain because it's you can already feel that it's very dry. Uh. Yeah. Wil je ook wat zeggen, Bo? So, to, uh, in order for the vegetables to grow, they need water. So, I'm gonna do some watering <laughs> in the middle of winter. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, I thought I would just be open and honest, as is this channel. Um, and I got a message from my aunt uh, last night and she was saying, yes, it looks like you have you're having a very hard time with homesteading and uh, I see you it's hard with two kids um, so that's been really nice to hear and I'm thinking that the last few videos have maybe been well not negative but maybe a lot on um, 
focused on this as their reality and it can be kind of hard sometimes and um i i just wanted to say a little bit about that because um by the computer now by the way uh trying to edit this video and um a part of that is is because youtube has been messing with uh with our channel a little bit and it's been really frustrating um it seems that even though i put effort and time and uh, all that stuff into videos it's just not pushing them out um maybe i i don't know why um but that's been really frustrating and it's kind of taken the joy out of making videos and that's maybe also why um well, I liked the last couple videos, but the algorithm didn't. So that's been really frustrating. And uh, maybe it's part uh, part on me. Like maybe the thumbnail is not interesting enough. Who knows? But um, that's been getting me down. And I watched a vid. I know this is a, an issue with the platform and with the algorithm. And I know this because I've seen videos and I'll link one of them which spoke to my soul um I'll, sp I'll link it down below it really goes into the algorithm issue if you're interested in that <sighs> but it's really kind of taking the joy out of making videos and that kind of that feels sucky it feels bad um it's, it's just not been a great month when it comes to youtube and that it's it, that's just not nice and so uh, i don't it, it's not nothing you can do about that um except for liking this video or leaving a comment the engagement always really helps and um i was r really like uh, reading all your comments and talking to some of you um but that's that so if you're thinking may so to take action on that feeling um we'll be experimenting a little bit um we'll al we're also trying to change our workflow a little bit so that we can show a project from beginning to end but that takes time and um yeah we <laughs> last week we posted our very first uh short youtube short and that was just like it was a fun thing to do um it made us laugh and um, so we're in that way we'll be experimenting a little bit to kind of get that joy back uh, because I do love making videos I love sharing but <laughs> not this month uh, and then it doesn't help that Bo's not sleeping well and he's teething and all the all the fun stuff that come with life um, yeah I hope that makes sense yeah, we're gonna take some action on that feeling and then hopefully next month YouTube will decide that we are um, in the favor of the algorithm again and we can be shown to more people again. <laughs>